sedentary disease, frequently asked questions. According to the CDC, more than 15% of people worldwide are reporting to live a sedentary lifestyle. Some states within the United States experience a population percentage of sedentary individuals as high as 47%. This striking statistic leaves a lot of people wondering valuable questions. Here are some of the more frequent ones. What does sedentary mean? Sitting and lying down for longer than average periods qualify as behavior that sparks alarm to question if a person is becoming sedentary. Unfortunately, activities such as driving, watching TV, even studying are passive in nature. This is why it is vital to remain mindful of the balance you create regarding your activity level. Adopting a sedentary lifestyle isn't ideal for anyone. Living a sedentary lifestyle is defined as someone who spends over half their time in a still position, moving primarily for essential tasks such as bathing and eating. Once sedentary behavior becomes a sedentary lifestyle, the situation requires a more thoughtful approach. Experiencing these sorts of behaviors does not mean that you are adopting the lifestyle, but in any form, they are harmful to your health. What are the adverse effects of living a sedentary lifestyle? Sedentary lifestyles have negative effects on a person's health from various angles, beginning with heart disease and obesity. For doing a lot of nothing, the body sure does receive a blow. The impact of even just sedentary behavior can create an impact on a person's physical state, as well as mental state. Some of the more common bodily reactions to sedentary behavior include, but are not limited to, 1. Type 2 diabetes, 2. Colon cancer, 3. High blood pressure, 4. Osteoporosis, 5. Lipid disorders, 6. Depression or anxiety, 7. Heart disease, 8. Obesity. How little movement qualifies a person as sedentary? Sedentary movement is commonly mistaken for light activity. Less than 1,000 steps to 3,000 steps a day is typical for a sedentary lifestyle. 3,000 to 10,000 steps is a lightly active lifestyle. This does not mean 1,000 steps of exercise, but rather the cumulative movement that is made throughout the day. It could be during your walk to the corner store, while you're picking up after the little ones, or the twists and turns in the kitchen. If someone is sedentary, they are doing less than average physical activities in general. This excludes all exercise, in most cases, and then begins to be limited in generalized activity around daily tasks. Is prolonged standing just as bad as prolonged sitting? Prolonged sitting does tend to be worse for someone's health than prolonged standing, but they both pose their risks. Standing for extended periods can be bad for someone's health if they do not maintain an appropriate posture or do not receive adequate sitting time in correlation with prolonged standing. Long-term muscle fatigue and discomfort are common from standing too often, but it can even contribute to heart disease in some severe cases. Prolonged sitting is a contributor to heart disease as well as high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. What is the minimal amount of movement that is recommended? According to the NPR's discussion on the new federal guidelines for movement, it is suggested to achieve at least 22 minutes of activity a day. These could be simpler things than intention-focused exercising, such as grocery shopping or walking to work. The new guidelines also touch on the strength-building activities emphasis being a more consistent part of a person's regular practices. These are only some of the most commonly asked questions during discussions on sedentary disease. Others generally require more in-depth answers or at least further discourse to come to the asking point. Refer to this list as needed when trying better to digest other information on the disease and its effects. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. If you need help putting his ideas into practice, please contact us or leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. For more nutrition, health and beauty tips, please subscribe to our channel.